hey cancer welcome back to my channel welcome to all my new subscribers thank you all for being here if this reading resonates with you please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel and also turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos for you all please remember that there is no gender in tarot and timing is fluid so these events can be past present or future and remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your story this is going to be for your sun moon rising venus and your north node cancer um so let's get started let's get some weekend messages let's see what's um going on with you guys i'm going to be pulling from the angel guide oracle let's kind of like get a theme around what's going on so let's see spirit guides angels for cancer please allow me to be the channel for cancer what do they need to hear spirit what do cancers need to hear we have take a step back Hmm, there's something maybe that you need to analyze before moving forward. Yeah, a lot of purple here too. Let's see, what else for Cancer? Maybe there's something you need to reevaluate. What else for Cancer? We have Holy Love. Oh. Bottom of the deck, Mother, Father, God. A lot of um, people got this. This is about intuition. Listening to um, your spirit guides, getting downloads from the universe. So let's see. Holy love. Let's see what this is about, y'all. I'm interested to know. 56. So let's see. You are blessed to receive this card today for it shows you are being surrounded by loving energy in the cup of your heart will be filled until it overflows with goodness. The angels who are with you now know that at times you can feel unloved and unappreciated, and this can block your experience of love and appreciation. The divine energy that is surrounding you at this time is there to help you melt away any blockages so that you can be open and receptive to the love and appreciation that you deserve. Your angel guide is encouraging you to view yourself in a loving way and to give yourself permission to be loved. If you have been holding back for a while but are now ready to share the love you have within, this card brings the message that it is safe for you to do so. Wow, that's nice, Cancer. So why is take a step back here? That's that's comp uh, contradicting, isn't it? <laughs> let's let's read it and see. Let's read and see. That's why this is here. What what page is it on? Take a step back. Oh, 96. Okay. Your angels are guiding you to take a step back and reflect before proceeding further. Okay, so that's what it is. There is an excitable and action-oriented energy around you at this time, but you are being encouraged to review the situation before making any moves. Remember that you are a sensitive being and should correct the steps and intentions and should the correct steps and intentions not be lined up, you can open yourself up to harsh energies or a situation that could be limiting to your growth. In order to have the best experience and a positive outcome, take some time now to meditate on your actions, intentions, visions, and goals. Call in your angels and invite them to guide you to make decisions that will be supportive of your expansion and highest good. Yeah, so that's what I thought. There's something that you just need to meditate over and, you know, really contemplate before making a decision i'm feeling like four swords energy could be needed to make a decision uh about a gemini or something but i feel like this is a love reading for you guys okay spirit for my cancer sun moon rising venus and north node what is the message for cancer spirit please allow me to be the channel for my cancer collective please and thank you spirit what is going on one more time okay for cancer spirit what is going on with my cancers nine of swords yeah something is making you guys anxious nervous you're staying up late at night worrying about this you guys are tired too like i'm feeling a very tired energy from you guys because maybe from this stress, this worrying. Yeah, and I just said an air sign. So you could definitely be connected to an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It could be this person that's in their head. Really worried. 
maybe scared to open their heart up to you or something or you're scared to open your heart up towards this person but there's something here that's making you nervous so let's see what else and i just said the four swords here it is <laughs> so you guys probably are meditating over this or they are so let's see what um what is the message for cancer spirit let's see what's going on cancer queen of swords yeah this air sign energy what else for cancers three of pentacles what else for cancers we have the chariot cancer energy that's you and six of pentacles towards Virgo capricorn so i feel like somebody has set some strong boundaries here somebody was clear and direct in their communication and uh, this person maybe you are moving forward from them maybe this person was very cold very i don't know something about this person that is making you iffy here maybe because this person set up strong boundaries with you you know we're going to clarify this queen of swords and you're maybe moving on from this or you're moving towards this person because you're now ready to give equally to this person here maybe you were breadcrumbing this person before and they're like uh no you're not going to do this to me or you know vice versa and um you could have been giving to other people and this person stood their ground you know and now you're really determined and you know you have the strength to move forward to get this person back or something like that but or you could be moving from this person because this person bred from you and they were giving to other people so now you're moving <laughs> moving forward we're going to clear <gasps> excuse me i want to clarify what else for cancer spirit spirit six of wands page of pentacles six of swords then we have the seven of cups so yeah it looks like there is something here you're going to be moving forward to calmer waters maybe with this person here it could be with this person but something there's something that's going to be victorious here i feel like um since this all came out together you're moving towards calmer waters and maybe there's an offer coming in or communication coming in maybe uh due to your finances or someone just wanting to offer a um solid foundation for you guys to build off of you know I feel like if somebody is coming back in to give to you equally, you know, it's going to be successful. So maybe you are um, trying to reevaluate this situation to make sure it's the right move to make. Because if this person has bred from you in the past, it's like, you know, I don't know. I don't trust it. That could be what this confusion is about. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the Seven of Cups. Somebody, you know, there could be some confusion around this here. Around like, what is this actually going to be? What is this actually going to lead to? Or you got, or some people, um, some of you guys could just have options in love here. Some of you guys could be um, recognizing the public eye. You guys could be in the public eye here and could just have a lot of suitors around you that you can choose from. But for some of you, I do feel like you are moving f on from this energy and starting something new with this page of pentacles. You are. Whatever it is you're starting is going to be a success. Whatever it is, you know, you guys could be six, seeing sixes too. A lot of sixes here. Um, yeah, you. We're gonna clarify and see what's going on here. Yeah, we're gonna clarify. So let's see. Why is this um, Queen of Swords here for Cancer? What is this Knight of Swords? A lot of air sign energy. Why is this Queen of Swords here for Cancer? Spirit. Why is this Queen of Swords here for Cancer? The Hierophant came out basically in reverse. So Taurus energy with the Hangman. So maybe you guys were stuck in a commitment here that was... um. There's something unconventional about this commitment here, you know. Hmm. 
there's something unconventional here about a certain connection let me see why is this hard in here let me see why is this hard in here in reverse why is this hard in here in reverse somebody was very cold towards you or you towards them maybe that's why you left this person you know yeah you you um and then here's the five of cups so maybe yeah and the two of cups here and the death so it looks like you might have um maybe you offered your cup of love to this person you express yourself to this person here and they were very cold towards you, very blunt with their words, very... I mean, the Queen of Swords upright is very clear and honest and direct, but this person could just be very cold here. With the Hierophant in reverse, it's like maybe this relationship to everybody else looks weird, but to you guys, only you know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? There could have definitely been a choice between two people. Somebody was confused about choosing, you know, who to choose here. But there is mutual love here you have with someone. And I feel like maybe this person is in regret if they if they're the ones that chose this another commitment over you. They're in regret. They're remorseful about whatever this is. They are. They're in deep regret. They're sad. They're they they could be crying a lot. Or this could be you. This five of cups is you. This nine of cups is you too. But I feel like you know. <clears throat> You could be coming out of this commitment with the Hierophant in reverse. There could be a broken commitment here, like a broken marriage. You know, someone is in this Queen of Swords energy. Maybe they're upset. They're pissed. But someone is mad. I feel like that they fucked up an opportunity with you. And now here you are with your guards up because, you know, you don't trust this person. I feel like for some of you all, though, with this Knight of Cups facing outward, you guys are taking your love somewhere else because you have love for someone else. You do. I feel like you do have love for someone else. You share a special connection with this Two of Cups here, the soulmate energy. You're definitely maybe going towards someone else that you just have mutual feelings for. So let's see. Why is this chariot? In re um, why is this chariot right here, Spirit? What is the chariot? What are they moving towards? the magician in reverse why is this chariot here with the magician in reverse spirit five of pentacles the sun so hmm this is Virgo energy by the way could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn someone could have been abusing their power too if there was magic involved or something you know somebody was being very manipulative and i feel like you're moving on from this energy you're moving on you're moving out you're doing what you have to do it could be this queen of swords person here that this with this higher in reverse and this magician somebody was definitely being abusive you know you know using their power in the wrong way they were not being I don't know why I'm hearing truthful about something. This person could have neglected you in your time of need, made you feel left out in the cold here. But I feel like you left this person out in the cold because they were manipulating you. They were doing something to you. And you're going towards your success, your happiness, your wish fulfillment. Yeah, look at this. The sun, nine of cups, and the pen, uh, ten of pentacles. Yeah, you're going towards something that's, that's making you happier. And this person is pissed. If they're using magic, you know, they're just mad. They're mad. You know, if you have a car, somebody could have been trying to do some, some shit to your car or something to stop you from moving forward here. But somebody's definitely, I feel like somebody's pissed <laughs> that you left them out in the cold here and you're moving forward. You're you're finding that will and that, am, that willpower, that ambition to do what you have to do. You're determined to go into something that's going to be good for you here. You're ready to open your, your heart up to someone else. Because I feel like in the past, if there was a choice between two, maybe you made the wrong decision and you chose this person to later find out that whatever was going on with them, you know, whatever. But yeah, I feel like also this person that you have this mutual love for too, this person is now in this Queen of Swords energy. They're now ready to cut you off if you don't come correct. If you don't come correct, they're ready to cut you off. 
yeah so let's see why is there six of pentacles here for cancer why is the six of pentacles here for cancer spirit please and thank you this person could be wanting to give you something yeah they're somebody's coming in with an apology and to express how they feel and they could be wanting to give you something as well yeah <laughs> the empress taurus libra energy this person is seeing you as a divine feminine they want to come in and offer you something they're really i feel like this person is really sorry for whatever they did if they went back to this past person that shit ended quick you know that is not the path that they're supposed to be down and they realize that or you did you're wanting to offer this person an apology here the empress is somebody who's very caring compassionate this person could have been giving to you a lot or you could have been giving to this person a lot but i feel like you were giving to someone else at the time and you know you're really you really regret you know if this was you being abusive in a certain type of way towards this person abusive in a way where it's like you know manipulating them or trying to cause confusion you know you left this person out in the cold or whatever you i guess you're wanting to come back and apologize and express how you feel um yeah we have the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles so somebody could be lacking financially right now maybe that's why this magician is in reverse too you want to move forward it, maybe this is what's stopping you, your finances you're not in a good place financially you know you're not able to manifest what you want or you feel like you're not i feel like you can but maybe you feel like you can't manifest what you want because your finances are not looking too good right now but um with this expense i mean i see progress in your finances i do but yeah nonetheless for some of you i just feel like there's communication coming in with this page page of pentacles page of uh, cups someone wanting to express to you how they feel it could be via text call email whatever however you guys communicate dms but yeah someone is finally seeing you for who you are you are the empress you are someone that someone wants to spend their life with and they want to apologize so let's see why is the six of swords page of pentacles and six of wands here why is all of that here for cancer spirit six of swords page of pentacles six of wands why is all of that here for cancer the moon oh nine of pentacles <clears throat> you don't see this coming the moon is you guys could be a uh, cancer or pisces i feel i think but yeah you don't see this person coming here they're traveling towards you the six of swords is all about traveling they're coming to offer you something it's going they're they they're going to come in <laughs> confident because they want to win you over they want to get you back you don't see this coming here this could be being done in secret I feel like maybe you can kind of like sense that this person is coming or have an inner knowing that this person is coming for you. Um, let me see. Why is this moon here? For cancer, why is this moon here? Because this could stand for secrets as well. This could be just be them doing stuff in secret. Planning, planning something out for you in secret. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they... Hmm. Somebody, somebody could be doing some type of magic though. No bullshit with the magician in reverse, eight of pentacles in the moon. Somebody could definitely be doing moon magic or working with the moon to do something, working behind the scenes to do something. But with the moon and the eight of pentacles here, I do feel that someone is is building their finances up. Yeah, you went from the five, the six, to the eight. So there's a progress in finances for anybody that wants to know about their finances there is progress being made whatever you're working on is going to be a victory for you whatever this new beginning is with this page of pentacles whatever you're inspired to do go ahead and do that start working on it because it's going to be a victory you're going to be publicly recognized for something that you're working hard on but i do also feel that somebody is working on something in secret to come towards you you don't see this coming this person is going to sneak up on you <laughs> they are you don't see them coming at all they're probably going to catch you when you look your worst i swear that's how it normally is but yeah yeah be careful of the whole magic thing someone could definitely be doing that with the magician in reverse i hate seeing that in reverse 
Oh, excuse me, Cancer. I'm a little tired. So let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here for my Cancers? Why is the Seven of Cups here for my Cancers? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancers? Strength, yeah. Okay. Why is the Seven of Cups here for my Cancers? Could be dealing with the Leo. Two of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you guys. And then here's communication. Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So, you know, there, there could be some juggling going on. Like, maybe someone is just trying to find balance here. They're trying to find... You know, maybe they're trying to figure out how to come towards you with this Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Like, you know, they have so many things to choose from. They just can't figure out which way to do it. This person could also be um, just juggling their finances. You know what I mean? Like, really trying to get their finances back in balance. A lot about money here. Someone could just be trying to find balance within their finances. You know, um, let's see. Why is this Two of Pentacles here with the Seven of Cups? The Star. Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to figure out how to come in towards you. They're really in their head about this. This air sign. Could be an Aquarius. But they're definitely trying to come in and balance things out with you. They're just trying to figure out how to do it. They want to heal things with you. They're praying for an opportunity to heal things. Or this could be you guys just going through a healing phase, really working on yourself, trying to balance your emotions, trying to balance all these options that you have i feel like some of you guys have a lot of options on the table could be options and suitors or just options just period and it's, it's going to come at you fast because i did see the eight of wands so communication is coming in but um and fast forward movement but yeah this person this is a person here this person is wanting to heal things with you they are so let's see what is the potential outcome for cancer Potential outcome for cancers. Five of Swords. Why the Five of Swords there for Cancer? Why the Five of Swords for Cancer? Two of Wands. So yeah, there there's still going to be a decision. Like I feel like something is gonna have you stuck for a minute in your head. Um, because you're going to be trying to figure out how to make a decision here to move forward. Um, two of Wands is all, uh, uh, talks about travel as well, so maybe you're going to have to travel to see travel to see someone or someone coming towards you. But just make sure this person is not coming towards you with conflict here. Knight of Pentacles, Justice. There could be someone coming towards you, maybe with some conflict. And while you're looking out, you know, you're ready to, to take on new opportunities. You're making plans. And then, then here's somebody coming with this conflict. You know, this could be that. Or this could be just you in your head trying to figure out, you know, how, you know, which decision you're going to make. What choice you're going to make here. You know, because it's two paths you can go down. You can either choose this person to go down that path or, you know, go down another path. Maybe alone. Or maybe you could just be trying to choose someone else. But there's definitely going to be some mental confusion for a minute or some type of conflict here. Definitely some type of conflict. So, yeah. But this Knight of Pentacles, the Justice, Four of Pentacles. It looks like there's an offer coming towards you, but maybe you're not going to be too sure about it. Maybe you're not going to trust it. Yeah. But it looks stable. It looks promising, Cancer. But maybe you just don't. You don't. You don't know. Decisions, decisions. That's what it looks like. You're gonna have to make a decision here. Yeah. You're gonna be at a crossroads about something. Okay, Spirit Guides for Cancers. For my Cancer Collective. What do they need to hear for some guidance? for cancers for cancers bottom of the deck we have follow your heart yeah 
The only way to be happy is to get out of your head and to follow your heart. Listen to your inner child to learn what it means to feel what you want instead of thinking about it. Your heart is the only one who knows the right way for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. You guys are really going to be stuck in your head. And Spirit is telling you to follow what's in your heart. Get out of your head and follow what's in your heart, Cancer. You know, so let's see what else for Cancer. New beginnings. The bells are ringing out for a new start in life. A new beginning is just at the horizon. Don't fear it. Embrace it and go with it. Yeah, there's. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling like. You're going to be conflicted. There's something promising coming in for you, but you are going to be trying to figure out, you know, which way to go. Open your heart, Cancer. I know it's probably hard if you had your heart broken recently or just left someone. What else for Cancer Spirit? Balance. Yeah. You're currently out of balance. Your yin and yang energy needs your loving care and attention. You have been giving too much to your environment and ignoring your own needs. Take this time to regain your strength. Yeah, that's probably why you're confused. That's what I was feeling here. You're needing to go within with the star and the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. You're confused. And it's just because you need to get out of your head and really manifest what you want into your reality and let it go into the universe so it can come to you quicker. You know, get out of your head about it. Get out of your head. One more for cancer, spirit. One more for cancer. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Something definitely looks promising here too so it says action 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 make it happen and take this opportunity that has presented itself to you the time is now yeah your divine timing is now and under this it says trust your intuition so really um this is going to be victorious for you cancer it is going to be victorious for you so don't let um fear hold you back or you being stuck in your head hold you back don't let anybody hold you back because I feel like this five of swords is mental conflict here. It is mental conflict. You guys are going to be conflicted. But, you know, get out of your head and make that move. Move forward to this this love here, this person that you want to go towards. Just go ahead and do it. It looks like the outcome is going to be good. You guys are going to move things to calmer waters with each other. It's going to be a victory. Whatever you're offering, your person is going to like it. So, you know, go ahead and, and do it. Go for it. So leave me some comments below. Uh, I would like to hear you guys' a story. 11, 11 on the clock. 11, 11 on the clock. Wow. So yeah, this person is fated for you. This is your probably your divine counterpart. But um, yeah, so just like, comment, subscribe, and um, turn on your notification bell, Cancer. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.